It's Preeti Gurung. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk about hypovolemia versus hypervolemia. So first we will look at hypovolemia. It's important to know hypovolemia has a few different names. So you might have heard about dehydration, fluid volume deficit and fluid depletion. And hypovolemia gets really bad if untreated. It can lead to hypovolemic shock which can be definitely don't want. Now, we'll see what actually is hypovolemia. If you break the part of the word, it will tell you what it is. Hypo means low and volemia means volume. So, you don't have enough fluid in the vessels. Well, this is a problem because you don't have volume in the vessels. You are not perfusing the vital organ and we want volume into the vessels. So, let's look at what causes hypovolemia there are many different causes basically it is loss of fluid from anywhere this can be from thoracosynthesis paracentesis hemorrhage ng tube trauma gi loss such as diarrhea and vomiting hypovolemia can cause by any condition that can cause polyuria so let's break the word poly means many and urea means urine so this is excessive urination and conditions such as diabetes and diabetes insipidus. This condition causes polyuria and medications such as diuretics causes polyuria. Another condition that causes polyuria is third spacing. You can see this in burn patient and ascites patient. So let's look what is third spacing. When the fluid shifts from the intravascular space that is the vein into the interstitial space that is the cell. This cause a drop in circulating volume causes hypovolemia. Now let's look at the signs and symptoms of hypovolemia. It's really important to know first is decreased weight. This is acute loss of water weight well because we have less volume. And the second one is increased heart rate. This is because the heart is trying out to pump out fluid to the body but there is not enough volume. Heart rate is gonna be weak and thready. Then the third one is Decreased blood pressure because we have less volume which means less pressure. Then the fourth one is decreased central venous pressure that is CVP. So in this low volume therefore low pressure. Then the next one is increased respirations. And the sixth one is decreased urine output because the kidney do not have enough fluids to push out. Then the next one is seventh one. Decreased skin turgor when the person is rehydrated. They are gonna have decreased skin turgor. This is basically when you pull the skin normally in the hand, you are gonna see your skin tan, meaning it's not going to recoil back. So you have dry mucous membrane and thirst. You also gonna have flat neck vein. This is because there is no volume in the veins. Now we are gonna see labs in hypovolemia. We can remember like this: concentrated makes the number go up. Increase serum osmolality, increase urine specific gravity, increase hematocrit level, increase sodium level, and increase blood urea nitrogen, that is, increase BUN. Now, look at the treatment of hypovolemia. You have to replace the fluid loss. This can be per oral or IV, that is, intravenously. When you are giving IV fluids, you have to monitor for fluid overload as per safety precaution. Hypovolemia can cause orthostatic hypotension, which can increase the risk for fall. So you have to follow fall preventive measures for your patient. You also have to do daily intake and output monitoring and daily weight checking. And remember for daily weight, it must be on same time, same scale and same clothes. So we just looked up to hypovolemia. Now we will look hypervolemia. It also have few names, fluid volume excess and overhydration. Now let's break the word, hyper means high and the volemia means volume. So we have too much volume of fluids into the vessels. So let's look what causes hypervolemia. First is heart failure. The heart failing and not pumping blood out efficiently, so a backflow causing hypervolemia. 
second kidney dysfunction can cause hypervolemia because kidney can't do their job because it is injured they can excrete the excess volume so you have backup of fluids then the next one is cirrhosis it is also one of the cause of hypervolemia and the next one increase sodium intake because when sodium goes the water flows now we will look at the signs and symptoms of hypervolemia first is increased weight this is a water weight not fat weight then the next one is increased heart rate the heart will push fluid forward and the heart rate will be bounding then the next increased blood pressure increased volume and increased pressure then the fourth one is increased cvp fifth one respiratory in this wet lung sound there is referred crackle sound we can hear with the stethoscope this is due to the backflow of the fluid from the heart so it can dump into the lungs that is pulmonary edema then the sixth one is polyuria increased urine output then the seventh one skin edema there are so much fluids into the vessel that actually leads out in the interstitial space you can also see distended neck veins this is called JVD that is jugular vein distension so because of more volume of fluid it will look puffy now let's look at the labs for hypervolemia so remember over dehydrated means diluted it makes the number go down so there will be decreased serum osmolality decreased urine specific gravity decreased hematocrit level decreased serum sodium and decreased BUN that is blood urea nitrogen now look at the treatment for hypervolemia low sodium diet because where sodium goes water flows second daily intake and output and weight monitoring just like hypovolemia next we are going to use medication such as diuretics it can remove all of excess fluid next you going to place your patient in high semi fallus position this can make easier them to breathe for those who has pulmonary edema that's all for hypovolemia versus hypervolemia if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching